to all my friends in the internet world, this is your friend Jay Silva, also known as Backcrack Jay, once again bringing you another video, but I guarantee you, this time I'm gonna bring you something that you have never seen. I've never done a video like this before in my life. Okay, I'm, I'm really impressed with what I have to show you today. Let me do the no bed thing so we don't lose the video feed. Okay. I have a question from one of our, you know, one of our contacts in social media. His name is Anthony, I, you know. He contacted me and he asked me a question or he had a request. I don't know which way, you know, to put it. But he told me, hey, Jay, how come you don't make a video showing, you know, the regular people how to turn $200 into 1000 And how long would it take? You know, is it possible to do it within the week? Or, you know, how long would it take in, in order for, you know, a normal person to turn $200 into $1,000. So it, that got me thinking, you know, got my wheels in motion. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, the, the formula that I have, that I designed, is for the regular Joe, it's for the regular people, all right? So not a lot of people has a $5,000 to $10,000 bankroll out there, all right? So I'm gonna do exactly that. So I, I just want you to understand a few factors that we're gonna do today in this exercise and you're gonna love it. Basically, okay, in this casino, they only allow me to, to use $100 units, all right? I cannot, I cannot use it, the, the 25 units minimum, all right? So it will be no good because, you know, we have a $200 bankroll. It's not a, if it was a $250 bankroll, maybe it will help us, you know, but it's only a $200 bankroll. So, okay, here's what we're going to do, okay? I, I need you to, to watch very carefully, and I need you to grab a piece of paper and a pencil, maybe an eraser too. Okay, because maybe you're going to make a few mistakes. Maybe I will make a few mistakes along the way. But basically, okay. I'm going to play my bets like if they were $10 units instead of $100. I'm, I'm still placing, you know, the $100 coin like, you know, normally I do. All right. But we're going to call it the day $10 unit bets. Okay, so if I have a $200 bankroll, okay, that's the, that's the amount of money, that's the amount of capital that I have to play. So I only have... 20 units, you know, 200 <laughs> uh, divided by 10 is 20, all right? So if I had 20 units in order for me to play, all right, I would have to set up what I call my loss allowance, okay? I would have to play very cautiously, okay? I have to be extremely careful because Obviously, a $200 bankroll at a, at a $10 minimum, you know, unit bet, it will not be a lot of money, okay? But basically, you know, time is of, of the essence because Anthony asked me, you know, how long can I turn those $200 into $1,000? So that, that, will mean, that will mean multiplying my bankroll five times, 500%. So I'm like, you know, oh, that, that's a challenge, but, you know, I, I, take, I take a crack at it, all right? So... This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play the game. If I come out plus six or more, you know, if I catch a dragon tail, okay, at the end of my 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 gaming, at the end of my sequence, all right, I will uh, tabulate all the things that happen while you know while we play this session, and then at the end, I'm gonna do like a um, a blackboard background, and I will teach you exactly, okay, what is it that I did? And trust me, I have never done this before. You know, since we started making videos on YouTube, because basically I didn't feel like giving the formula away. But a lot of people have contacted me, and, and a lot of you, are, you know, you guys are, are using the casinos online or you know playing at the brick and mortar casinos, and you know, you, you guys are losing a lot of money, all right? And and you guys want to know, you know, what can you do with the money you have? Okay, what kind of results can you expect? So this video is gonna clarify all this and you know, it will bring your understanding to a whole new level, all right? So after this one, we, we're gonna jump in, all right? After this one, I will, tell you I will tell you exactly what my balance is. And then we, you know, we take off from there. We, we, we can see a heavy player tendency. So I gotta observe, you know, my, my preliminary TI account from, from the last five results. So, so far I have two bankers, two players, you know, banker player, banker player, it's a choppy, it's a choppy uh, situation. All right, and another another player came out. So you know, we have a plus four. I'm gonna go unit base on banker. 
So my starting balance is 590, 255. Why 255? Because I have a hundred dollar bet or a ten dollar bet in this case for the video, you know, on my uh, what should I call it? On my banker uh, slot. All right. So let me write this down. 590, 255. I'm go I'm going. Uh, okay. I'm going one unit base bet on banker. All right. Let's see what's gonna come out. Banker six. Come on, banker. Remember, I have a choppy, choppy results so I'm playing, I'm playing choppy. Banker 8, perfect. So, Banker 8 came out, all right? I won, I'm plus 1. Now I got to go, okay, ladder 2 on player. All right? I'm going ladder 2 on player because it's a choppy tendency. Remember, it went completely for, from being a dragon tail on player into a choppy decision but thank god you know the formula is always making me aware of what's going on at, at you know at the table through the ti count the tendency indicator so i'm playing alongside whatever is happening at the game all right player six come on that's enough for me to win player five come on better yet come on come on come on come on come on Ooh, come on don't tell me it's a tie uh, and it's a tie all right nobody wins nobody loses i'm just gonna do a rebet all right, and I still have my, you know, two unit bet, ladder two. Oh, don't get fooled by this, you know, it's just, congratulations, Jay Silva, who just won, you know, 200 units, $200. No, whenever a tie comes out, basically they give you back your money. That's that's what I love about Baccarat, okay, because when green, you know, in roulette green means you lose. But uh, in Baccarat, when you tie, they give you back your money, but, you know, they they, <laughs> they try to make you happy. They say, hey, congratulations, you just won your money back, all right? So nothing happened. I just do the rebet thing, you know, and, and everything is peachy. So one second, okay, come on. Player nine, that's it. That's all I need, player nine. Player eight, better yet. There you go, we got it. Perfect. So now with player eight, I am at plus three, and now I got to go ladder one on banker. Remember, I'm a plus three. My money count is plus three. All right. My my TI count is still growing. Okay, I'm at zero plus one plus two. All right. And I'm going ladder one on banker. All right. Come on. Choppy all the way. I wanna I wanna catch a nice dragon telling choppy, so I can teach all my students and all my my followers on you know on YouTube the power of the formula and what can I do with this formula to to make it you know amazing. You know, to, to obtain amazing results and, and actually, you know, build and grow my bankroll to a level that, you know, is <laughs> unbelievable. Come on, player six came out, all right? So I'm plus two. I lost and my force starts. Okay, I go force two on banker, all right? Force two on banker. All right? So check it out. I'm going for Sue and Banker. Why? Because the tendency still keep me bowling. I'm bowling, all right? Like playing volleyball, okay? I'm, I'm on the ball. I haven't, I haven't caught a break on 2x or 3x, you know, depending on the level of expertise that you play. You know, I'm a professional player, so I, I can actually play, you know, 2x, 3x. It's sometimes even higher than that, you know. I, I, I one, you know, a few occasions I have played, you know, 5x's. Come on. Ooh, another tie. Okay, this is a perfect example. You don't wanna, you don't wanna get fooled by the ties, all right? I just do rebet, and, and once again, I got two units on banker. Okay, they tell me, "Oh, you want to win?" You know, I didn't win anything. I just, you know, I got my money back. And obviously, okay, I call a no loss a win, <laughs> but you know, I didn't, I didn't increase my unit on on my money count. All right, my unit count it, it still remains the same. I'm still plus two, which is pretty good. You know, if we do a ten dollar ten dollar unit base, I'm plus twenty dollars. All right, but check this out. So let's continue, please. So once again. Okay, I'm still on choppy. All right, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get down. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Ooh, we lost. All right. So player nine over banker eight. Okay, that's perfect. So now we are at zero. Okay, and we cut, we caught our first break. All right. But I'm not going to play the 2x thing, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go four units on banker. All right. So check it out. I'm using the low of 75%. I'm going four units on banker. I'm at zero. My money count is completely, completely zero. I'm not minus. I'm not plus. I'm just at zero. All right. I'm doing four units on banker. All right. So please pay close attention to what's going to happen right now. All right. Come on, banker. I'm, I'm calling banker eight. I'm the car whisperer. All right. So you guys are going to love this. 
Okay. So far, my highest uh, banker nine. Beautiful. Okay. So perfect. I am plus four. Okay. Banker nine. Okay. And now I'm going to go force two on player. And that will be the end of my game. I'm plus four units minus the commission. All right. So now I'm doing a force two bet because I'm, I'm still observing the choppy tendency because my, my TI count still keeps me on the on the choppy tendencies. It's, it's showing me, you know, C2X, C3X. So it's perfect. Come on, player. Come on, player nine. Player nine. There you go. I called it. Perfect. We got it. We out of here. All right, cool. Player nine. I went up force two on player. All right. I won this one, won this one. I'm plus six and everything is peachy. All right. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect. Check this out. I'm going to switch from the from the casino. Remember, I'm going to do the... Um, we started at 592. I don't remember it was 55 or 65. I'm going to have to check the video in the beginning. And I'm going to do, you know, all the all the captions and stuff. All right? 590, 255, I think it was. All right? So, uh, minus commissions. Okay, we came up with six units. So, we, now we are 590, 830. All right? So, uh, I'm going to stop the video right now. And I'm going to switch to the, to the Blackboard background. So, I can teach you exactly what happened. What did I do? And, you know, I'm going to give you a free lesson. On the on the program on the formula backer tko so i'll be right back don't go nowhere all right so i placed my best base bet on banker based on the preliminary ti count that gave me a choppy clear choppy tendency so i went opposite to the last one the uh, the winner was a player so i went banker base and banker a came out so it was a uh, a one a victory okay i went I went that one so i'm plus one unit my ladder the law of the ladder immediately activates so I go ladder two on my next bet on player and player A came out I'm still in the choppy and I'm winning so I have my, my second win in a row I'm plus three units okay now I am in the ladder I'm hunting dragons okay and then my next bet is gotta be a um, ladder one bet on banker okay so I'm, I'm following the law of the ladder or the sequence of the ladder and I'm placing my ladder one bet on banker, which is another opposite, all right? For, you know, so far I'm, I'm going banker, player, and banker. I'm still in the choppy tendency. And player six came out. Turned out, you know, that was a loss. And now I was plus three units. Now I'm plus two. And now my, sub six, you know, my, my following bet is force two on banker again. Why? Because I'm still playing choppy, all right? Remember, you have to understand the laws that govern the tendencies. So I go from my from my ladder, I switch to my force, and I go force two bet on banker, and another player came out. So I got two losses in a row. Now my money count is at zero units. All right. So check it out. Now I go force four bet on banker still. All right. Why? Because the law of the seventy five percent, and you can see it right here. Low 75% is in effect, so I'm using that in my favor, okay? Low 75% indicates whenever you have three wins in a row, I got three out of four chances that the next one will be opposite. So it worked. I went force four, my, my strong bet on banker. Banker nine came, so it's a one, okay, it's a win. So I'm plus four units at this moment. So I got to turn back to force two, okay? Bet on player, opposite to banker, the last one that, that he won, right? And now I won again with player nine. So I have a victory, and now I am at a plus six unit money count, okay? And that is basically what I wanted as a result. So, okay, at this point, everything is perfect, okay? Now I'm going to explain to you how do I use the law of bankroll uh, growth, bankroll management, okay, bankroll management and bankroll growth based on the $200 um, bankroll that we had, okay? So please pay, uh, pay close attention. Well, now, answering the question that Anthony gave us, he said, what can I do with a $200 bankroll and how quickly can I turn it into something greater like $1,000? So oh, it's cool. We have one unit equal to $10. So basically we have 
a 20 unit bankroll. Now, we need to get our loss allowance ready. So, based on the law of the three thirds, we need to have at least three buy-ins in order to color a bankroll. So we divide, you know, 20 units, okay, by three, and we get a minus six uh, result. So we get a minus six unit loss allowance. That means, you know, whenever I, I'm, I'm going minus six, I lost one buy-in and I'm out of that game, but I continue playing, all right? In the, in the last exercise that we watched, we saw that we came up plus six units in six bets. You know, we won four, we lost two, all right? Let's say we're making one unit per minute. That's only 45 seconds per decision. So let's make, you know, one unit per minute. If we play for three hours, we have 180 units in the plus. Now, we gave the value of $10 to each one of our units. That will be equal to $1,800 on an average of three hours. But wait a minute, okay? Let's get real. Let's say we have two losses per hour. Okay, worst case scenario. Maybe it's one loss, maybe it's three losses. But it, now, you know, you can do the math. Now you have something tangible that you can actually work with, you know, do the math and based on this, you know, the formula. Okay, so two losses per hour will equal 30, minus, you know, minus 36 units in that three hour period. That will equal to $360 in a negative, but it's quite all right. We made $1,800, or, you know, on an average $1,800 minus 360, we get 1440 That's $1,440 that we made for that three hour period of gaming, all right? So it's not all <laughs> for you, okay? So you have to do the law of the three thirds once again. So watch this. So we came out with a final number of 1,440. Now, that is the money that we earned. But remember, we gotta divide that by three, the law of the three thirds. So now we get a total of $480 that, you know, we got three three parts of 480 Now, you get, as a player of the Formula Backer at TKO, you get one share of those $1440. So you get, one, you know, $480. That's your payday, all right? That's yours. You can use, you know, you can buy yourself anything you want, all right? You, you have the freedom to use it, you know, any way the, that you want to use it. But your bankroll also gets one share. And now your bankroll, remember your bankroll was $200, but now your bankroll is equal to $680. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, you know, just, we, you know, we make some money today, but okay, it, it didn't go to Fantasy Island, you know, it's, it's now, you know, it's getting serious. Your bankroll is growing, okay? But also you have one third that goes, you know, to your incidentals. Also it's called your overhead fund. Okay, what is that? Why, why do I need that, Jay? Okay, because the next time you play, let's say you play, you know, once again tomorrow, when you encounter the loss, okay, most likely you're gonna get paid, and and you know nothing's gonna suffer because if anything, your losses will be absorbed by your incidentals or your overhead fund. I call it the what if money, and you know if you want more information on how do you use the what if money. How do you use the law of the three thirds? How do you use the equalizing formula? You know, th there's also an equalizing formula. So whenever, it, you know, you have you have uh, losses, okay, a serious loss or something like that, all right? You made a mistake and you you know you were playing the formula wrong. So, uh, you know, don't forget. You can contact us. You can send us a question, like Anthony did, and uh, you know we would love to have you join the program and to start training you and teaching you the formula back at TKO. Remember, my name is Jay Silva, also known as Backer at Jay, and I will see you in the next video. I hope to hear from you very, very soon. Enjoy the video. Bye-bye.